Hi guys, this is Faye from Face World Media. I want to do something a little different this time. So this is one of the three videos I'm creating to reflect upon my experience witnessing Descript's AI as part of their season six releases. We have been following them since the very beginning. So we first discovered Descript in 2018 during podcast movement in Orlando, Florida. There's a little video I even capture interviewing um, the person who was introducing us to the product for the first time. And literally as soon as I got back from that trip, I jumped in onto Descript. The ability to edit audio through text was just groundbreaking, really was. They were the very first to do that and to do that successfully. Now onto season six, if you haven't followed their live stream, there's a really cool video I'm gonna link in the description below and show you some snippets here as I'm talking through the features. So first of all, a couple of highlighting features uh, from the season six release. It's called Underlord. So it's all about AI features. I was lucky enough to have joined the live stream session and to sit among other influencers to ask questions live, to have that conversation with Christiana as well as a Descript CEO, Andrew. Andrew is the CEO to step in and to answer all the questions live and to address questions from the comments, from Discord, uh, was phenomenal. Instead of relying on a product manager, on a technician or a developer, Andrew knew it all. He didn't know what the questions were gonna be. He's an actual, not a, just an active user, he's a super user. But how come Descript not only survived, but thrived in today's AI market tech for small business owners, for creators, for businesses, you know, for enterprises. How could they be so successful for so long? It's because this CEO along with his team, everybody who's not just creating videos for Descript, they're all users. And there's a lot of empathy, not just in his tone, but in the actual development of the product. Previously in 2018 and 2019, we created a video. That video actually took off as a result, it was, List this on multiple websites. I believe at one point it was for a big product review site as well. I don't want to misquote. We're able to engage with a lot of podcasters and creators for that. I'm really grateful. Why do they call Underlord? Underlord as opposed to Overlord is the fear that people have for AI. Yet Descript's marketing message positioned all the AI features, which is really there to be your assistant, to be your partner, to help you, to be your intern. I actually like the idea of an intern because intern has to learn. Intern is not an expert. Intern does not take your job or does not really claim any expertise, but it's there to learn. With that in mind, when I approach Descript's existing or future AI features, I know as an influencer who talks about and writes a lot about AI, I'm confident that it's not going to be perfect and it's going to be learning with me. So speaking of which, the features that we have been will continue to use related to AI are things like editing for clarity. So you drop in your episode and it will automatically, one, you know, give you studio sound, which is already part of the AI features. It will automatically remove filler words like the ums and ahs and what they call the audio or video clutter. You know, people make mistakes or repeat themselves or having a long gap to think about things before they're able to say it those can be cleaned out automatically. And Descript will also let you know where those places are. So just in case you want to introduce some of the silence or bring anything back on purpose, you can do that easily as well. A couple of other features that we really like, for example, I am pretty comfortable making eye contact like this, whether I'm recording this video or going live stream. Now with that said, with Descript AI, you can automatically focus your eyes on the camera while you're using teleprompter. I think that's really phenomenal. There are two features that I'm really eager to explore. I haven't used as much that you're able to now work with your AI intern or underlord to prepare your social posts. I think that's really cool that after all the hard work that's been done for podcasting, and now you have a partner to help you with the writing process. And that goes for uh, YouTube descriptions as well. Knowing a lot of you guys are now uploading your podcast and your audio and video content onto YouTube, which I'm a huge fan of. Now, last but not least, one of um, the biggest reveal, AI clip making. Now, there are a lot of uh, clip AI software out there, to name a few, Munch, Opus, Submagic, among others. What I love about it is the aesthetics coming from Descript. I know that there are things that are solid, like the studio sound. 
like all the features that complement the podcast production process. However, it is important to also keep in mind that there are a lot of advanced features related to clips that are not yet available. Things like, for at least from my experience, that I've only seen a really easy way to say, if I'm interviewing another person, that the script will automatically slice and dice and move up into a you know vertical view and then detect our movements and motions and change scenes very easily. AI clips are now built into the script. I think it's gonna save people a lot of time and money not worrying about another subscription. At the same time, I also see there will be room for improvement as well. So please let me know what you think of this reflection video and I cannot wait to see you in the next videos, uh, not just one, but two more, where I actually walk you through and show you step by step how I go about using AI features and how I approach Underlord in general. And I really look forward to not just following these script, but sharing and getting the word out to more creators out there. There's absolutely no reason for you to now spend days and weeks editing an episode anymore because Descript has significantly cut down our workload and really transformed our production process. But if you're starting your podcast today, or if you are still shedding blood and tears during the post-production process, it is time to look again. And I hope you enjoy Descript. And I look forward to your questions and reflections in the comments below. I'll see you next time.